Hey everybody, welcome to the Wall Doc Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is a look inside the Masterpiece Society Art Appreciation and Enrichment Program. Now there are actually two separate volumes. Volume one includes the artist Leonardo da Vinci, Rembrandt, Claude Monet, Vincent Van Gogh, Pablo Picasso, and Georgia O'Keeffe. And then volume two includes Albrecht Durer, Jean Vermeer, Edgar Degas, Mary Cassett, Paul Cezanne, and Henry Matisse. And yes, I'm sure I butchered more than one of those. So what I'm going to show you today is going to be Leonardo da Vinci. So you'll just get a look at what one artist is kind of like, and that will be what each one is. So they all kind of start with a Charlotte Mason quote um, and then another quote that has to do with that artist. You have the table of contents. So this has, um, you know, about masterpiece, how to use this curriculum, observation and evaluation questions, the biography of Leonardo da Vinci, the Renaissance era, fun facts about Leonardo da Vinci, Leonardo da Vinci quotes for copy work, and then you have a masterpiece which for this one, it is Mona Lisa, and then an enrichment activity that goes with that mo with that masterpiece. Masterpiece number two is going to be The Last Supper, and then an enrichment activity that goes along with that. And masterpiece number three is The Female Head, and then you have an enrichment activity for that. You have art terms to remember, and then recommendations for further studies. So that is kind of the overview of all of them. They're all gonna have some of the same things like observation and evaluation questions, a biography about the era that the artist is from, fun facts of the artist, you're gonna have quotes for copy work, you'll have three individual masterpieces and then three enrichment activities, art terms to remember, and then things for further study. Now, these are great for open and go. They're fantastic for like morning time, for kids of all ages. If you go in here, you can see she has an adapting for all ages. So she has preschool and early elementary, upper elementary and middle school, and then older teens and high school. So there's a thing that you can do for all ages. So this is perfect for all of your kiddos. There is a way to view all of the art online if you'd like. And she has a note about pronunciations. I probably should have used that because I know I butchered some of those names. Okay, so here are some of the observation and evaluation questions. It talks about how to teach your child to see, sometimes requires, you know, prompting and our probing, and that here are 12 questions for observing and four questions for understanding. And then there's some comparing and evaluating questions. So it's just kind of questions to get you, you know, opening up and talking about the artwork. Here is that biography that we talked about. And now this is a PDF, so like right here where you see pronunciation, you could just click that in the PDF. I chose to print and bind it so that we could put it in a morning basket if we wish to do so, or a bedtime basket. Here is a page for you to be able to do some of your copy work on. It talks about the Renaissance era and then the new methods in art during that time. Comparison between medieval and Renaissance era. Here's your fun facts about Leonardo da Vinci. Here's some different quotes from Leonardo da Vinci that you could use as copy work. There's your first masterpiece, which would be your Mona Lisa. And it goes into an introduction and some background on that specific masterpiece. The different mediums and techniques used. Why the Mona Lisa is so famous. And then more fun facts and more copy work pages. And then here's your enrichment activity. It says, if you would like to enrich your study of the Mona Lisa with a no fuss art activity, simply print out the template on the following page, which you can see there is a Mona Lisa template. Older students can use it as a transfer pattern for painting projects, or they may prefer to color it in with pastels, charcoals, or colored pencils. Younger students can use it as a coloring page to create alongside their older siblings. 
for an in-depth art lesson on each of the masterpieces we study in this volume, check out my Mixing with the Masters art course. So she has an additional art course that could go along with this if you wanted to go deeper into it in the actual art. So this would be more of a simple, no fuss art with enrichment and appreciation. And then if you wanted to do, you know, an actual art curriculum where you're doing more art, um, projects versus appreciation she has the mixing with the masters for each of the masters that you're going to be learning about so this would be the appreciation portion of the art projects and then here is the masterpiece number two which is the last supper and all of the details on the last supper talking about perspective a larger version a closer look and fun facts, your copy what pages, then your enrichment activity. And then again, you have that no fuss art template, or you can go to the mixing with the master's art course and get further in depth with an actual like full blown project. So if you are just looking for some art appreciation and some simple art projects, like no fuss, really, really simple. This is fantastic. Like I said, each volume is going to give you six different artists. So that is, I mean, half a year or a full year, or it could be two years if you do one per term. Here is your art terms to remember, the different things that you've talked about within this artist. And then recommended for further study, she has videos, books, and then additional websites as well. So this is essentially an entire unit study if that's how you choose to do it on each of these artists. Again, here are the artists in volume one. And then here are the artists in volume two. Now, if you are looking for appreciation, enrichment, and projects, the Masterpiece Society Art Appreciation and Enrichment pairs absolutely beautifully with the Mixing with the Masters, and together you would have an entire art curriculum that would be fit for children of all ages. Mm -hmm.